Okay guys, so we are um, at the base of Doisetep. I got up at 5 a.m. to get here to show you guys the sunrise over Doisetep. Now there's a lot of mythology and a lot of legends surrounding Doisetep. Um, the temple was first constructed in 1383, so it's not the oldest temple in Chiang Mai. It is one of the um, most kind of legendary. It was later expanded upon after 1383 and there's a couple of legends sur uh, surrounding it and one of them is that there was a relic that was brought to the king uh, of a white elephant. That white elephant then um, supposedly broke in two. It was placed at the king's back and then from there um, the elephant apparently went off into the jungle, went to the top of Doisetep um, once it reached the top, it died. Uh, I'm probably butchering that story, but that's just a little bit of the history and the lore that is surrounding uh, this temple. Uh, it's about a 35-minute scooter ride up uh, Satep Mountain outside of Chiang Mai. Uh, if you have a scooter, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you don't have a scooter, you're looking at anywhere between three to 500 baht to take a taxi. Uh, I'll introduce you to my friends who took a taxi who are too afraid to take a scooter in a little bit, and they will give you an idea of how much it costs and what the process was like to get a taxi. Got to Doisetep around 5.15, 5.45. Didn't have to pay because we got there so early. Always a plus. Actually, I walked in on a large group of monks that were praying. <laughs> Now, uh, it's tradition for the monks to go through the city um, at the base of the temple and the people of the city go ahead and um, give offerings. And the offerings are not mandatory, but doing so uh, instills good luck. Just like if you go to any Buddhist temple, provide an offering, they will bless you. From the back side of Doi Satep, there is a lookout that will look over all of Chiang Mai. Now, depending upon the season that you guys come, um, it might be too hazy due to them burning the rice fields. It is far too hazy to see uh, Chiang Mai uh, down below. Instead, I flew it, got some drone footage for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> are going to come to Doi Satep, my suggestion, get a scooter uh, or pay, how much was your taxi? Uh, about 300 baht. Okay, so if you don't want to take a scooter, it's going to cost you about 300, 350 baht, depending upon um, the service that you use, whether it's Grab, Uber, etc., to go ahead and get transportation from Chiang Mai uh, to Doi Satep. I rode a scooter. If you come early enough in the morning, um, there's only cyclists on the road, so for the inexperienced scooter rider, it definitely was, um, or definitely would be a, a good experience. Um, I'm not very experienced riding scooters and coming up on a twisty, rindy road, I would have been really terrified if there was a lot of cars coming up here empty, not so bad. I would definitely call this a successful mission to Doisa Tap. Not quite sure what the rest of the day is gonna hold in store. You're gonna to have to watch the rest of this to find out. So if you are going to make the trip to Doisa Tap Temple, I would highly suggest making arrangements to go ahead and see uh, Buping Palace, as well as National Park. We're currently at uh, Buping Palace. Now, rules and whatnot here are a little bit stricter than everywhere else, simply because this is an active like government premises. The royal family comes here when they come to Northern Thailand. So there's the possibility of royalty staying here. So there's a very strict no drones. Um, women have to wear long shirts that cover their elbows and a normal shawl or something like that, which would normally be appropriate in a temple, will not be appropriate here. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the garden um, and it is absolutely stunning. Thank you. 
A large part of the attractions at the Buping Palace is all of the gardens, how they're immaculately kept, and the landscaping, the architecture. It's really, it's phenomenal. It's for someone like myself, I normally don't like plants or stuff like that, but it is so immaculate, so perfect. Everything is extremely well kept and it is beautiful. So if you messed up and didn't take a scooter uh, for this trip, then you can get a red truck to take you to Du Doi Peak, which is along the uh, natural, uh, National Park. It's not quite in the National Park, but it is a hike to a peak. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there. Okay guys, we've been trekking through the jungle now for about 35 minutes or so. We are at the highest point of Doi Satep. Uh, it is the peak, as you can see behind me, it's 1,685, I'm assuming kilometers, but I don't speak, or I don't read Thai. We have hiked to the viewpoint, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the scenery with the drone, unfortunately, because they are burning the rice fields right now, it is really hazy. So the drone's gonna give you a little bit better viewpoint of what we got right here. Flat tire, mechanics on his way. Gotta look at some of the positives right now. I've got plenty of water, plenty of juice for my cell phone. I have a fresh drone battery. I have a beautiful lookout and I have some time to, I was gonna cut my day early so I could go home, edit, provide content for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and fly the drone a little bit um, because we have nothing else to do. Hope you guys enjoy. So, so one of my favorite things about being in Thailand is just how willing to help and how warm Thai people are. And they really, I feel like that's all the Thai people I meet here, they're very, very excited to make sure that you enjoy Thailand. And I've been stranded on the road, been trying to communicate with my mechanic and Poom helped me out. Uh, he went to UCLA and you play the, you said the classical guitar? Yeah, something like that. Electric yeah. guitar and... Nice and he was more than willing to help me out. So I can't thank you enough. No problem. And that's why if you're thinking about coming to Thailand, this place is fantastic. And it's people like Poom that really make the experience of being here incredible. Mm -hmm. 